Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. Now, what we're going to be doing today is I just want to quickly go through some keyboard input stuff through events and through your regular kind of uh, if statement. So there's two different ways to do it basically, like I just said, um, and we'll be going through them both. Now, the same thing is for the mouse, you can get the same type of um, checks for if you press a mouse button or not like from the keyboard so uh, we're gonna be going through that and I just want to show you some stuff for the window that's important now what you can do with the window is you can you can close it you can create a new window like we do here uh, if you wouldn't have this in the constructor you'd have to do window dot create here afterwards that's good to know um, then uh, get default view is pretty important we'll get into that later uh, you can get the position, get the size, you can check if it's open like we check there. Has focus is really good. If you're making like an editor and you don't want, if your mouse goes out of the screen and you press like the windows bar, you don't want the mouse to have any effect on the on the window while, while it's not in focus basically. So you can do that. Uh, map chords to pixel and stuff like this is going to be good for our uh, games, for the mouse position and stuff. So that's good to know. Um, you can do set active, you can do set mouse cursor visible, set title, set size, you can do a bunch of stuff. But uh, this vertical sync thing is pretty in interesting. It's pretty important sometimes when you get screen tearing. You might want to do that, uh, put that into enable, basically, put that true. Or make that true, basically. So yeah, that's a little more of the window function. I just want to show you that really quickly. Now, to get into some simple keyboard input, what we want to do in this example is basically press escape and that's gonna quit our program so what do you do you do if just like the above statement if uh, event dot type now remember our event is this event type equals keyboard uh, oh wait, wait, wait uh, event sf event key pressed <sighs> just like that key pressed and event dot key dot code equals um, let's see sf keyboard escape so that's a long if statement and then what we'll do is window dot close just like that. So this is going to let us press escape and that's going to close our window. Just like that. Bam. So this checks if our event type, if the event in question is a key pressed event and if that is a key pressed event, basically it's going to see the code if that key is then escape. And that's going to let us close the window. Now there's another way you could do this. If we comment this out, uh, you could go ahead and do an if statement out here. If SF keyboard and I'm sorry I didn't use na using namespace here using namespace SF so we don't have to do all this SF stuff um, if keyboard uh, is key pressed keyboard uh, escape window dot close so this is basically going to give us the same thing, but this is going to check it kind of outside of the events. It's not handling it through events. So uh, it's it's kind of it's the same thing, but it's done outside. And this is what I usually use for your WASD and the movement and stuff like that. So uh, that's really good to know. Now for the mouse, if you want to do the same thing, if you want the left mouse button to close the, the window, what you do is you do if mouse is button pressed, mouse uh, left basically or right or whatever you want window dot close just like that now every time I click the left mouse button it's gonna close the window BAM just like that easy right and uh, the same thing should be should be possible up here if event dot type equals event I think it's 
button key. Let's see if we mouse button pressed, and then and and event dot key dot event dot mouse mouse button. I think it's mouse button equals mouse left. I was thinking this should be event dot mouse button should be the same thing um, maybe key nope well never mind it should be the same thing but I'm not really sure about it right now so we'll just ignore it but still just experiment with it play around with it see what you can do use this for your WASD and just uh, all kinds of stuff and the mouse moved event is is the same thing you can kinda check if the mouse moves and which way it moves um, it's really useful uh, and yeah this is just a simple simple kinda tutorial into key pressed and mouse moved and stuff like that uh, and mouse button pressed so play around with it again check it out thanks for watching thanks for all the support take care and I'll see you in the next video alright bye bye